right, I'm back down on the walkway at the moment. Um, I'm not actually, if I can get you to focus, I'm not actually down by the camera, it's down on the corner, kind of where I was yesterday. Um, there's kind of a workshop down there about 10 photographers, so um, I'm going to leave them in peace, not to talk next to them. Um, here's the scene this morning at the moment. Uh, we do have a very cloudy sky. We do have a bit of colour coming up to the, the left of the uh, the island, uh, which you can't see very well here, but it is a slightly red shade. Um, nice reflections this morning. There are a few ripples there still. Well, there is a few ripples there still, so um, it's not going to be amazing reflections, but I'm doing long exposures again to try and get the best I can out of it. Um, should work quite well, so it's just a matter of waiting and seeing what happens. Um, I've got the polarizer on again, although I'm not convinced it's making a massive difference. And I'm just using uh, the lighting at the moment. I don't actually need a soft grad at all. What I might do is I might darken it down slightly, um, just to um, uh, just to kind of try and bring some of the colours out of the sky with a soft grad. There's not really much more to say at that. I'm shooting with the 24 to 105 again, just because I'm liking the shots around about 50 mil. Um, and it's just a waiting game really to see what happens, um, see whether the shot comes up, see where it works. Uh, most of the light's gone off the um, church now. Still got a bit of light here up on the um, up on the castle, which you probably can't make out, but. Um, yeah, so far, quite happy with it. It's working out quite well. So, um, fingers crossed, we get a nice uh, sunrise and see what happens. Yeah, anyway, apart from uh, the cloud, it's a really nice place, really peaceful. Yeah, really enjoying it. So, I'll catch up with you a bit later, see what happens, see if we get any decent shots. Uh, most of the sunrise gone now um, I didn't catch back up with you because uh, the workshop kind of came up my way and I spent a lot of time chatting to them but there wasn't really much increase in what you saw this morning we did have a bit of that cloud lift up and it did uh, go quite a nice colour underneath it um, and it's quite nice angles as well it's kind of point like a kind of V of colour coming down to the, the church uh, which you understand what I mean when you see the pictures. So it didn't work too badly in the end. Beautiful, beautiful place. Um, still a tiny bit dark on this side, hence the sun's uh, kind of behind it there. Um, we didn't get any sunrise really between or any colours or the sun coming through this peak simply because of the cloud. Um, and yeah, I was quite happy with the composition. It does look quite nice down this way actually. Um, which I've noticed because you get a lot of nicer peaks behind it and it makes it more of an isolated island. But the reason I didn't shoot down here was simply because uh, you've got all the buildings behind it, the kind of um, big hotel there in the modern kind of uh, architecture, which doesn't look very pretty at all. Um, and what I was doing as well is you probably can't pick it out on this phone, but right in bit this gap here, there is a really nice church um, which is just at the base of the castle and what it was this morning there's a really nice peak just above that with some really nice cloud around it so I got some really telly shots uh, with a 70 to 200 um, doing a portrait of that church with a peak above it and it came out really nicely and I think that's going to be a really nice image and come out really really well yeah i've really enjoyed it here nice chat to the nice uh, group of people this morning there from um uh from the uk light and land or land and light they're called uh they do photographic tours out of the uk to um different places and um yeah they seem very knowledgeable and had a group a uh, good group so if you're looking at photo tours give them a search um 
Yeah, so next place, I'm not really sure to be honest. I might be working my way down into Croatia today. Maybe going to have a look at the waterfalls. Uh, maybe a few other locations. Probably not going to stay in Slovenia much more. I think I've done most of the places I want to do here, although I grant, I grant that's not many. Um, but it's just a matter of time now. I've got to get down that way anyway and um, try and make use of most of the photographic locations where I can. So, um, yeah, I'll catch up with you a bit later. I hope you enjoy the images from this location. And, um, yeah, we'll see what, see what uh, comes up later, see where I end up being. Me. Take the time to dig deep Underneath this red heat We could really now and I've come to Rovinch um, or Rovinci. Um, this is really picturesque um, town. I've come a bit away from it. I'm still within the vicinity of the, the area of the town but I've come kind of across from the, the iconic thing it has which is this huge um, kind of church peak which sticks up from right from the town. Really really annoying. Um, the light's nice. Uh, there's a lot of thick cloud here which I don't think is going to do anything but um, some numpty's gone and parked their gym palace right in the way of it um, so half the town now is taken up by this this massive boat it has been drifting slightly left of it since I've been here um, but it seems to have stopped now so I think he's probably anchored up um, really really annoyingly um, got the whole bay and he's got to go and park there or should I say she or whoever's driving it. Which is really, really annoying. Um, yeah, I can't zoom in. Yeah, so unfortunately I'm going to have this massive boat in the way of it, which is uh, not going to work out that well. Um, but, you know, we'll see what happens. It might give it a bit of interest, but um, it's not going to be as nice as the town. It's pretty frustrating really because we've got these nice clouds on there at the moment um, Which you can just see at the top here Right in the middle it's quite wispy um, and they are starting to go a bit red now, so um, I'm gonna be getting on with some shooting Now I'm really far away So I've had to put the telephoto on and I'm shooting to get quite a wide shot. I'm shooting at about 105 um, but That is mainly to try and get some of the clouds in um, what I'll probably be doing is zooming in and I'll probably be going all the way up to 200 mil to be honest to try and get that that kind of more of an, an isolated kind of close up close up button that especially if the, the light improves and the clouds at the bottom um, go red just really annoying about that boat Ugh. 
but you can change it. I'm gonna to have to see what I can get with it. Um, I didn't plan on staying here for sunrise, but I might do now, considering that boat's gonna be in the way and really annoying me. Plus, it'll save me going for another long drive tonight. So yeah, um, hopefully it's gone in the morning. Anyway, I'll crack on with the images and um, yeah, see you in a minute. Right, it's kind of kicking off now though, although I think it's coming towards the end of it. We've got some nice um, patterns over here, which look terrible on this, but there you go. Um, I've tried shooting some of these boats against it, but the water's so choppy here, it's just not looking very nice at all. Um, the boat has moved um, ever so slightly, it's now there. Um, and it does look like it's actually going into that corner now, although it's going so horrendously slow. It might just get out of the way um, of the main bit in time before the lights come on. Um, it's looking quite nice on the back of the camera, um, although it's I'm having to shoot really, really underexposed. Um, I'll just check I've got my polarizer the right way because it's looking very, very bright. Yeah, no, I've got it on right, but there's a hell of a lot of glare in that water. Um, I had this exact same problem at Bled during sunset the other day, or yesterday. Which you might have seen in the other vlog. So the only really way to get around it is to shoot quite a bit underexposed. So I'm about a uh, stop and a half underexposed there to try and get rid of that glare. It will be making the town quite dark um, but if the lights start coming on which hopefully they will do in the next 10 minutes um, that should kind of um, correct that anyway with, with the kind of town lighting up um, that's most of the color gone now we did have a tiny bit on these wisps here um, but they were a bit too high to utilize the problem if I zoom back um, I was getting more and more of the boat in um, which is something I didn't want and I think ideally it looks better as a portrait shot, um, a landscape shot, not a portrait. So um, I didn't want to do that either. Um, go to the portrait to, to get more of the sky in. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Much to say about it, really. It's a nice location. It's just a shame the boat's in the way. And um, hopefully they'll come out quite nicely. I hope you'd enjoyed um, today's one. Um, it's been quite nice actually, the lake this morning was quite nice, um, um, I think that worked quite well. Um, I did also, I forgot to mention, I did also go and have a look at Castle on the way here, which I can't remember the name of, um, but I'll put it up, um, which is quite a cool castle that's built into a cliff, but it, I didn't really have any way in my mind that I could try and do anything creative with it photographically. I didn't even bother using a tripod, I literally turned up. Um, turned up, stuck the camera on it and just took a picture. There's not really much else you can do about it. There's no clouds in the sky, it's built into a cliff um, and there's only really one viewpoint you can easily get to without other buildings being in the way so there's no leading lines or anything I'm putting there but it's a cool place if you want to visit it as a tourist and go in and have a look around, which I didn't but um, if I was with someone else I probably would have done. So um, yeah, um, I'll put that one up as well. You've probably seen it by now. Um, and thanks for watching. Like I normally say, if you've um, liked it, please give it a thumbs up and drop any comments in, in the box below. You wanna ask me anything. Um, tomorrow's probably gonna be la my last proper day of photography. Um, try and get a day out of tomorrow. And after that, um, I'll probably be switching off and just having a kind of 10 days worth of chill in Croatia um, before I start heading back to uh, the UK. So. Thanks for watching and I'll catch up so you on the next one.